You know, in this day and age, it seems like less and less people are starting to innovate and are just starting to rehash other people's ideas, but that's not really the topic of this video. The topic of this video is whether or not Nintendo ripped off a company, and spoiler alert, I don't think they did. So what the hell am I talking about? Well, basically, a company called Game Vice created a product called the Wikipad, where basically it's a sort of iPad-ish type design that you can slide into a physical controller and you can have physical controls on an Android tablet. That's, that's basically what it is. And they're claiming that Nintendo is committing copyright infringement by making the Nintendo Switch, which is a device very, very similar to the Wikipad. The only difference is that the Nintendo Switch can be used with the physical controls detached, whereas the Wikipad required the controls to be attached to the console for power, and you could not break off half the Wikipad and give it to your friend to use as a completely separate controller. So in a way, it's almost as if these two companies don't have a product that's very similar. Now, if you think that the company behind this thing, Game Vice, just wants Nintendo to pay up some fees or to be like, here, we're gonna fine you or whatever. No, they're after Nintendo's blood. They want them to cease all Switch production and give them money and royalty damages. Now, Game Vice is not a big company like Nintendo is. Nintendo's been around since literally at the 1800s, I believe. Whereas Game Vice is literally just a modern day tech company. They're, they're not very big. They're not very famous. They're not a household name like Nintendo. So I have a feeling that they're just going after Nintendo for attention. And even if they lose the lawsuit, people are going to be turning towards them and thinking, hey, look, some products. I've heard that name before. Not necessarily in a good light. But as the old saying goes, there's no such thing as bad publicity, right? Now, in terms of if Nintendo directly ripped them off, no, I, I highly doubt it. I don't think that Nintendo looked at Game Vice's stupid little Android tablet thingy and thought, hey, let's completely rip this off for our multi billion dollar corporation and uh, resell it. No, I don't think they did that. I think that they just had a very similar idea to what Game Vice had, and I think that it was just executed in a similar way. I don't think that Nintendo maliciously ripped off a crappy third-party phone case manufacturer. I just, that just didn't happen. But what I am sick of is seeing companies try to go after companies like Nintendo for saying that they quote-unquote ripped them off. Guys, come on. Innovation isn't as big as it used to be. They're not you're not just inventing smartphones or video games today. You're obviously going to have products similar. I'm sure that they didn't go straight to you and think, "Hey, I'm going to find a way to screw this company over." I'm pretty sure nobody thinks that way. However, it's up for court to decide. Unfortunately, they are actually trying to file the lawsuit, and if somehow Nintendo is found guilty of ripping them off, then I guess Nintendo Switches are going to get a hell of a lot rarer, which seems to be impossible right now considering the fact that you can find like one a month at like GameStop and Best Buy. But um, yeah, it's going to be a hell of a lot harder to find them, I guess. But I don't think that they're going to lose. I think Nintendo is going to do absolutely superior in court because they could probably afford much better lawyers and they could be like, here, ours does something different. So I think Game Vice is just going to slowly dig its own grave here. But I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Please leave them in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Dan Rock. Peace out and take care.